So I have seen some people mount their limit switch like this, and this is why it's not good. Hey guys, it's uh, Russ from Pre-6 Parts Warehouse. I have a 12-inch gantry here for a Pre-6 machine. This is a customer's uh, upgraded assembly. And I wanted to go into some details about limit switches. Uh, some details that are going to save you time, save you money, save your machine. In the previous clip, I showed what can happen when you get a runaway and a limit switch is mounted in a bad way. In that video, uh, I smashed a standard pre six limit switch, which is relatively inexpensive, but you could have a more expensive proximity switch or a really expensive limit switch. And if you see, you know, you could smash a proximity switch like this, um, causing you grief and time and money and bad bashed machine. So let's go into some details about how a limit switch should be mounted. Okay, so I have a limit switch right here and I have a ramp here. If you watch closely, the roller on that limit switch arm is going to hit the ramp and click. Just like that. Also, when the limit switch is past its ramp and it's on the flat so that your, your, your moving mechanical component can go past the limit switch. So this is a better way to mount a limit switch. On this assembly here, I've got the limit switch and I've got a finger to actuate the limit switch. If I go forward, you can hear the click. That means that limit switch has just done its job. But I can also go past the click and go right to the flat part of this ramp and notice that I still have play right there. So if I go past that limit switch in, let's say, a runaway condition, nothing happens. I can do this all day long, no problem. Now, if you've got a proximity switch, same thing. If you've got a proximity switch, mount the switch this way so that it can go right over top of your limit switch, your proximity switch. Uh, it does not change the precision or accuracy of a uh, proximity switch whatsoever, but you will be able to slide right along and you will not have a crash like at the beginning of this clip.